Hello, welcome to a video where I'm going to show some of my own battles this time in factions. Um, I haven't shown those in a while. Um, I also haven't played them as much. I'm basically the bench warmer this cycle. Um, I'm also the captain now that though took a step back, but also um, I want to let my members play as much as they can and want to, right? So basically that's why I'm on the bench most of the time, but this week I'm playing against Nemo Stormblood um, in Master League uh, instead of Savage Boy over here. And uh, one thing that I know about Nemo is that he loves Zacian, he loves Kyogre. So I was done with that, I brought a Mega Venusaur. Uh, which looks pretty good here. I just bet on no Mamoswine. I'm, I maybe prayed for it, honestly. Because Mamoswine will beat about everything on this line. Um, but he did bring a Mega Charizard that does break my line a little bit. Um, no idea what his false move was at the start, of course. Um, but let's take a look here at these battles. So these are uh, my own. I, have, I didn't cut them up exactly. Let me take a look real quick because um, it might be that Nemo took a while to... Lock in here. Here we go. We have my Man Mega Vinsor lead into their Mel Metal. Now, this is somewhat good. The thing is, I have the Dialga in the back, so it's in a really good spot here. But since he's staying in, he might also have the Zacian in the back, which would not be great. This is like one of the hardest Zacian answers in this meta. Um, you win every shield scenario because you just resist everything from Zacian. Uh, Mega Vinsor only wins the zero shields here. But it's like really, really close, so it's not that great. But the thing that I have in mind right now, if he has the Zacian, um, or sorry, if he has Zacian Mega Zard, I'm going to swap in Landorus at some point. I wouldn't expect him to swap that uh, Pokemon in, right? The 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 Mega Zard. And then it would be aligned to my Dialga, so that way I win. So I could throw my Frenzy there and win the battle, but I didn't. It indeed is the Zacian. In the back, I run Superpower Earthquake. I also had Earthquake on my extra drill, but I didn't see much use for it. In fact, I even have the best buddy on my Landris here, because then I hit a breakpoint against um, Mega Zard X, which would make some scenarios just a little bit closer, just in case I need to uh, hit like a few more damage with the Mudshots. Um, Zacian with Quick Attack actually wins the the ones here, I believe, with uh, sorry, the, the zeros and the ones with the. Uh, with play rough, quick attack play rough, even against my earthquake Landris. Um, but I'm not. I decide to no shield that, and he does quick attack me down barely. Maybe he doesn't win the zeros though. I'm not sure. Anyway, he's too low now on the on the Zacian, and it has to be Mega Zard in the back or High Dragon because otherwise he'd be super weak to the Mega Venusaur. Still a frenzy plant stored as well. Um, kind of lost track of energy here. I thought he was three off, so I didn't catch this superpower here, because I really could have used that shield against the Mega Zard X in the back, but it's wing attack, so it's um, it's much better for me, because I resist that, right? I catch the move here, uh, which you'll find is actually super necessary, because look at this, a Dragon Claw and a Blastburn would take me out. This Blastburn is going to do about 50% damage, maybe even a little bit more. It actually puts me into the red here, um, and that Dragon Claw would have KO'd me from here. So with that catch, I'm able to win this battle. Good game, Nemo. Um, was really necessary. Let's take a look at uh, the next battle that we have here. It took a while to lock in here. Um, this is the lead. This time, Mega Venusaur into Mega Zard X. Now, I'm just running the same line again. Um, I say switch my Landorus. My opponent read this really well that I'm probably just running the same line. Uh, I'm expecting the Zacian in the back again, even though those two are very, very iffy again uh, as a Venusaur bait out. Regardless, though, um, the fun thing about this is I know Landers wins the one shield here. So I'm just going to use one shield. Um, I'll eat the next Hydro. That's fine. He's counting very well, throwing right before my next Earthquake. <clears throat> and the Earthquake will actually take him out. If he has the Zacian, he will 100% shield. If he has the Melmetal, he might not. But then he would eat a, uh, a superpower on his other Pokemon. He does shield that. I'm going to go for that superpower here. I don't want to charge this completely because I want the farm on my Venusaur. But this is actually going to bite me because now um, well, he might actually get to an Earthquake on my Mega Venusaur. The Mega Venusaur is strong against uh, Swamp. But like, Divine Whip still doesn't do as much as you want it to be, right? Um, 
Obviously, it's double super effective. It does good damage, but the Earthquake comes through almost as 50%. I'm going to go for one Sludge Bomb that will do about 50% as well. So if it is Zacian in the back and I might get into position to farm that down, the next Sludge will take him out. And now I'll go into my Dioga, get some Dragon Breaths in. Um, I'm actually no-shooting this just in case it is the Zacian in the back. Um, because Close Combat do more and it is the Zacian. So now if he throws a Close Combat, I throw my Iron Head and I win this matchup. Um, but yeah, there's one thing about this. I completely bozoed here. <laughs> This is how I'm gonna call it. I thought, wait, if I if I shield that, he just dragon breaths me down. Um, remember how he had wing attack? I would have won that if I shield that. So really stupid. I've just forgot for a second he has wing attack. I forgot for ten seconds. Ten seconds so long his wing attack instead of dragon breath. Um, because I just win that if I shield that. Right? I would uh, take out the Zacian and then I'll pace to a Draco because I was only like four dragon breaths off or so. Anyway. Um, let's take a look at uh, actually even higher than Maeve killed that 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 mega sword. Take a look at the final battle now. We're one one, kind of a hard misplay on my side. And here we see the leads. Um, I'm running the same line again. I thought it was so solid, um, but my opponent reads me well. He leads the mega sword X into my Landorus. Uh, sorry, into my Venusaur again. Um, gonna say switch my Landorus. Obviously, he has he doesn't really have a hard answer to it. Just Swampert, um, which still loses once. And. Uh, I have played this matchup a little bit. Gonna be careful with him trying to catch. Luckily, he didn't bait that Blast Burn on me, so I'm not too far behind on energy here. He does shoot that. Look at how much those Muchels already did. And at this point, uh, it's kind of scary. I'm expecting the Zacian in the back yet again, but the other Pokemon, I have no idea. Maybe something like ABA Dragon. Um, gonna throw the first Super Power here. It does get shooted again. Gonna throw another one here. And this is actually not great. I'm going to make another stupid play here. I'm realizing, you know what? I'm not going to get my Venusaur aligned. I'm just going to let it go. But I should have cut it on my Dialga because he's double weak to my uh, Dialga. Sorry, he's he's double strong as my Dialga in the back and not that great against Venusaur in the back. Because now he farms me down with the Zacian. This is a massive misplay. I didn't play this super well. <clears throat> this is full of misplays on my side. I don't think I even... Uh, like most of the time I was focused and didn't play even bad, but the, the decisions I made just weren't great either. First close comment coming through, I believe he's one off. Um, at this point, if he swaps in Melmetal, he just wins. Um, but he doesn't. He actually CMPs with me on this Iron Head, and this is huge for me. Um, Nemo just also bows <laughs> just like I did in the first game. If he swapped into the Melmetal right away, um, he would have blocked my Dialga completely, and I could not have done much there. So at this point, I survived his Rock Slide. He needs one one more Thundershock for another one. But I also only need one more for an Earthquake. And this will definitely take out an entire generation of Meltons, Melmetals, everything. Um, and down it goes. So that's a 2-1 win. Um, misplays all over the place. I swear I'm not washed, but that wasn't the cleanest play on my side in game two and not on his in game three so i guess we're even like that nemo uh, well played it was fun again regardless though hope you like the video and have a good one